when mm-hmm. you're in a startup movement, yeah. you're all evangelists, you're all in sales, mm-hmm. yeah. everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I really like the conversation of what's coming up. Um, <clears throat> and the what it is that we're about uh, needs to show up mm-hmm. in very uh, deep and consistent ways in those encounters. And so what I was hearing from the group is, you know, it's not about proselytizing. People don't really remember what you say, they remember what they say. <laughs> and, and so you want, you want to be the open question that brings that out and that honors that. And so one of the axioms that, or I say one of the, the guidelines that I use is in every scouting encounter, uh, I want the person or group that I'm interacting with to feel like they've gotten a bunch of stuff out of that encounter. Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe it's only being seen or, mm-hmm. or, or being mm-hmm. appreciated. But mm-hmm. uh, ideally, you know, the more that you can have the scouting be a gift-giving rather than an assessment of the resources to be exploited. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, once again, we've got, I mean, this is a thing that shows up in a lot of issues, especially spiritual ones, but there's a question of balance. You've got a strong story that attracted me to come last time, that attracted me to come back, and it's a strong story. But it's hard to get your mind around a lot of it, and I know you know that, and I don't mean it critically, I mean it is part of why it's a strong story. <laughs> But I'd, I've built a lot of instruments in my professional life to get information from people. And I've come to understand that you can't ask an, a completely open question. You've got to give them some context yeah. Yeah. for the question. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, there's a strong story and there's context. And that, again, is the balance concern. It's what I seem to keep raising today. Mm-hmm. We've got to strike a balance between the Jesuitic approach, which is really not a question, even though it's often asked as questions, <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right? And the kind of t- really much more open, open uh, way that where we, didn't, we don't have anything but just asking them what they care about. Because God knows, I can, I've just recently been meeting with some venture capitalists, for example, and if I ask them that question, I have a theory I know what I'd get and it wouldn't yeah. help us much. Okay. But, so we need to strike a balance. I mean, that's why I think scouting and the meme issues really overlap in an, in an important way, which is what you were also trying to tell us, right? But we've got to strike a balance to, to be able to know that the scout's going to go there and give them enough context so that we can answer questions like, what do they mean by what they're telling us? How can we use it? How can it, we use it to be evolutionarily evolutionary ourselves, expand our own understanding of what we're trying to achieve, how we can become inclusive, or, and I think, I think, tell me if you don't agree with me, but I think this is real too. We're going to, the scout's going to find people that they're going to want to walk away from if, if we're beginning to know what we're doing and say, they're not, par- they're, 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 they're not for us right now. Maybe eventually, but not right now, which goes to the inclusion thing, okay? But I think we need to strike that balance. We need to know that we're telling them something when we go to them that is enough to seed the question, what do you care about, in the direction that's going to help us be this thing that we're trying to become. Well, we had generated a list of questions in the last meeting, like, um, did you grow up here? Were, what did you have in your childhood that you wish you had now? What, uh, what is your vision for, for this region? We had generated a list of questions, didn't we, the last time, I think? Oh. Anyway. We all like to talk more than to write. <laughs> I didn't bring my notes from last time, but I, think I, did, I did take <laughs> notes. We have to analyze the record that we get. Sure. Oh, my. The devil is a never mind. So to just mix a couple of metaphors between business and philosophy, we need an existential value proposition. <laughs> That's back to me. Well, do we develop one through our communication with other people? Or do we sit in this room and think about what are the universal things and then go out and try to find it in well, other if people? If you ask me, I would say that crowdsourcing has never yielded insight in history. I'm sorry, Mr. Would you that say? That crowdsourcing has never yielded any insight in history. And 
that the way it usually works is that individuals have insight, and then they go out and they try to reality test it on a group. If, if as a product development person, if I asked the world what they wanted, they would have never wanted anything I did in the last 30 years. Yeah. They wouldn't have even imagined it was possible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so crowdsourcing works for incremental stuff, but we're at we're in need of a breakthrough right, right. here. Right. We need a disruptive innovation, not an incremental innovation. And crowdsourcing is pretty good for incremental stuff, but boy, we need something big to happen if we want to change our trajectory. Yeah. No, but I want to, I want to push back a minute because I think you're missing an important part of that, which is it's not necessarily about having the people tell us to define our story for us. It's about finding a way to make our story accessible as much as anything else. Some of the things that I've heard, and again, I'm going to pick on this be simply because I respect it so highly. That's a very powerful story I saw last week. But man, there's all kinds of people that I think have very good human contact, big brains too, that for whom that's okay. And so I think that's more for me the spirit of this scouting is to find a way to make what we feel so strongly about evolve and make whatever it is evolving to be more accessible. So to to make it meaningful. And you're, you're very good at that. Yeah, you're trying to come up with nice context. words. You're, you're searching for data to inform the context. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I got from what Cynthia was saying, too. Is you have to, I mean, you're saying you got to be grounded in, in this, but at the same time, you got to, be, like you're saying, reach people. I think that there is a way to do that, and it is to map. Mapping, yeah, so there's two kinds of mapping. There's geographic mapping and concept mapping, mm -hmm. where concept has both the nodes and the links with labels on it. And also, if you say, this is where you are in the data, then, you know, yeah, here's all this stuff going on. Here's where you are, and here's a bit of a sense. Here's some to help in making sense of what's around you. You know, what's important to you, and what do you need? You know, where do you want to go? And can I help you find other places in the data, or can you <coughs> tell me what the key things you're looking for are, and I can set this thing up to give it to you? Um, is a combination of interact of research and interaction with people in supported hosts hosting supported groups, you know, and a continuing of that, and then also people supporting each other, you know, actually forming support systems as well as companies. Yes. And, and looking at the meta, always going, you know, we're doing this, and then looking at the, what's the meta view of it? What's that about? Where does that fit into the transformation of humanity from the competitive predatory to the collaborative nurturing? It sounds to me like who do we want to engage and engage how? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To do the concise thing. Uh, but to well, <laughs> what I'm saying is you're mapping, you're mapping. literally you documenting and displaying no, I like where people are and where the project is and how people fit in the project so that they can get their heads around the large things that they can't hold in their head at one point. But if you can look at the overview, and then you can zoom in on that and get that, okay, I got that. You zoom in on that, okay, I got that. And if we continually document what we come to understand and find its place, find where it fits into the structure of how a thought evolves and the structure of how we can change society and the structure of how we can find ourselves as individuals, the main, the big questions like put the put the information into the context of the big questions. To me, that's very engaging. So I'm yeah. mm -hmm. right. It sounds like a pre prerequisite for engaging other people. Once you uh, have the tool, the map, as you interact with someone, you could then, you just got to have that map first. Sounds like a precursor step to... Could we call it a concern map? Sure. Yeah, why not? Because map. it's really what people are concerned about that we're trying to yeah. determine. Concept is just a technical term. Yeah. And you're going straight to the marketing part of it. Yeah. No, not the marketing, to the meaning part of it. Okay. Yeah. What matters to people is what they're what concerned matters, right? about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what they're concerned about in the next 10 minutes versus the next 10 years aren't the same things. So we're looking at a concern map that exists over a long period of time. Like, wh mm -hmm. what are you afraid of is going to happen in 10 years? And, and could we map out those concerns? And I bet there'd be all sorts of connections between yeah. them. Actually, this real estate, I mean, like the 
building industry is about to, there's going to be a keynote address or a, a conference, you know, a, a, a workshop on the fact that meaning is the marketing. Marketing mm -hmm. is meaning mm -hmm. now going forward. Mm -hmm. That's what's going to drive marketing mm -hmm. is going to be meaning. Mm -hmm. So process. <laughs> it, it, it feels like we're <laughs> diving <laughs> deeply into the <laughs> scouting team work here mm -hmm. and what we really wanted was a couple of questions from each group and wanted to share what the thinking has been to date so we all have the same information. So I do want to respond a bit to both the, the meme team and the scouting team. see, the team. scouting team and the meme team are going to form a revolution. Now we're going to go off. The Pathfinder team is on the same page. So it's really, it's all yeah. one thing we're looking at. <laughs> Sorry, Bill. We just collapsed I, back I, into I, I doubt that, Doc. <laughs> <laughs> I know you do. <laughs> okay, where are we? Okay, Pathfinding team, next. 